All right, so Buster Buster said, my understanding with higher versus lower amp hour batteries is that they both have the same power. The difference is the higher ones last longer per charge. And that's actually true. A higher amp hour battery does 100% last longer per charge, but that's not the only benefit of using a higher amp hour battery. We'll be using the new DCF850 Atomic Impact Driver. battery is not remotely even close to being a dead battery. There's still a lot of juice left in there. That's just what this battery is limited to when it comes to power. And that's the difference. A reply from 2KLUM says 100% correct. And I reply to that, you need to watch more tool test videos. I think that for Buster Buster, that was probably his very first tool test video that he watched on YouTube. But believe it or not, you guys, people still think like that. They do. Let's move on to the next comment. All right, so Sam Metzger commented, what socket adapter is that, everyone? I buy brakes. So it's a mistype. I do the same thing. The two socket adapters that I use the most, and that's just uh, pretty much because of convenience of the store, is Makita and Milwaukee. Uh, these break so often, I don't really care about what adapter I use as long as they have them in stock. Sometimes they go to Ace, which they Ace sells Milwaukee, and so and they also sell DeWalt. Uh, I'm not a fan of the DeWalt adapters because they're big. They're very long. I like the I'll use these ones because they're shorter and they do the job. No matter what socket adapters are going to break, and so I do not use Ryobi bits because Ryobi bits are garbage. But to answer your question, I use the Milwaukee and Makita. When it comes to socket adapters, go to the closest store that is by you because no matter what, every brand is going to break no matter what. So it, it doesn't matter what adapters you use. They all break. Sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but Dimitar Kabov asks, Hi, very good video. I just wondered if you can charge a DeWalt battery with a Ryobi charger. Thanks. Unfortunately, you can't. The adapter, I guess, doesn't send the signal to the charger from the DeWalt battery. Uh, the, DeWalt ba uh, the DeWalt battery probably has like a specific signal it sends to its own charger. And I think all tool brands do that. But, but yeah, uh, we tried. You cannot. Mark Sloan asked, the DeWalt naming convention in the past five years has been frustrating. True. Atomic XR Power Detect. Then the 60 volt, the new batteries, it makes it very confusing uh, what actually makes what better. All right, so they have the DeWalt Brushless, DeWalt XR, DeWalt Flexful Advantage, DeWalt Flexvolt, DeWalt XR Power Detect, uh, DeWalt Atomic, DeWalt Extreme. It's crazy how much DeWalt actually has. And th that's the problem is the only battery platform that DeWalt itself is actually supporting is the XR because that's the only uh, the regular XR that's the only line that they're continuously expanding like I said in my tool sale walkthroughs for 2022 Black Friday I don't think that this is DeWalt XR this is screaming atomic but because of cop because of licensing and all of DeWalt's names is because of the conflict between Lowe's and Home Depot Lowe's has a power detect and Home Depot couldn't stand for that so DeWalt made Flex Fuller Advantage for Home Depot. It's dumb. It's uh, whatever DeWalt's dealing with uh, branding between stores, they need to stop. 
because it's confusing people. So Mark, I agree with you. It's frustrating. It is. So like people don't know what to buy. All right, so James Murphy, welcome back, bro. All right, for those of you who don't know, James Murphy was with me since the beginning of the channel. Every video I uploaded, he would say, I'm drunk. He was gone for a few years, but he is back. He says, should have called this visit drunk again at the Home Depot, which that's perfect. I'm glad I'm driving drunk to Home Depot to the tool sales than driving home drunk again. So welcome back, James Murphy. I do miss your comments, man. I, I mentioned you a lot, so... Thank you for coming back. Christian Martin asked, all right, in this video, when I did the test video of this uh, drill attachment chainsaw, uh, he is asking, does it require oil? Uh, no, it does not require oil, but it's not a bad idea to once in a while spray a little WD-40 on there. If you're using this, you're not gonna be doing a whole couple of 20 foot branches. You're doing a few cuts. So a few squirts here and there is not gonna hurt. Troy Baker commented, people should know more about tools when you're trying to do a video about them. That is not a semi-fast charger, it's a regular 20 volt, uh, 20 volt charger. These come with a 9 amp hour battery or a uh, semi-fast charger. Alright, so DeWalt has three recent chargers that they made. This is DCB112, this is a 12 and 20 volt max lithium ion charger. Now this is 60 hertz at 0 .0.7 amps. And the output is two amps. This is DeWalt's other charger. This is DCB1106. This is a 12 and 20 volt charger. And this is 60 hertz at 2.5 amps. And the output is six amps. And this is DeWalt's fastest charger. This is the DCB118. This is only a 20 volt charger. You cannot charge 12 volt batteries with this. This is 60 hertz at three amps, and the output is eight amps. And this is what I meant by semi-charger, because it's in between both of these. This is their fast charger, and this is a fast charger, but it's not the fastest, so it's semi-fast. DeWalt is way overpriced this year. Milwaukee is the way to go this year. Milwaukee blows them out of the water all day, knowing the product is a must. DeWalt sucks this year. Uh, it, it does not. And if that's your opinion, I have my opinion. In my opinion, the 2022 Black Friday sales, DeWalt took the cake at Lowe's and Home Depot. DeWalt was actually, like, the, the line of tools that they had for your free tool was actually amazing. That is, like, the best tool lineup in my opinion, that there ever was when it comes to your free tool select. Troy, I've been doing this for a few years. I don't know every single tool and how they are, but a good portion of tools and chargers and batteries, I know a lot. You know, I don't know everything, but I know enough to actually have a channel. JT Sindahas, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, said, I'm sad I can't find this M12 flashlight anywhere. The flashlight right here. This is a fantastic flashlight, you guys. Not many people know about this. It's pretty much all, it's, it's mostly metal. The model number for this M12 flashlight is 2355-20. And it is a fantastic flashlight. It has SOS, it has high, and it has low. And you're able to expand and concentrate the light beam. So this is actually a fantastic flashlight and this actually stays in my truck. There's a battery indicator uh, on the side on how uh, full the actual ba the battery is. This two amp hour battery is full, good to go. And JT, I'll put this in the link in the description for you uh, because you can still get these on the Milwaukee website. I didn't find it at, on Home Depot, but uh, guaranteed it's there is the Milwaukee website. So that is in the, in the link in, in the description below. And there are two kits. You can get the tool only, or you can get a battery kit. Ace Caldwell said from a Ryobi video, how come it's missing the extra HP compatibility terminals? Here is my OnePlus brushless a 10 inch sliding miter saw. And this takes two batteries. But as you can see right here, there are no terminals even on this one. Like, I do not know why that they put HP on there if they do not have the HP terminals. I guess Ryobi thought that they don't need it. Uh, and is, let's see, the hammer drill, is it on the hammer drill? See, it's on the hammer drill. Yeah, I do not know why that they actually add the HP to the tools that don't have the HP terminals. 
I thank you for your comment, Ace. This is the first video, you guys, so I am gonna tw majorly tweak this so you guys know where it's coming from. All right, Mo Power asks, are you gonna test out the Flex Volt against a similar size HP battery? Yes, we are. As soon as I let this battery charge up a little bit more. All right, so we are gonna do one test for each battery. We are gonna do a 5 8 by 8 inch lag. And just so you guys know, if you guys want a request for the, a Makita adapter to go on to M18 batteries, I got an adapter right here. Weed asks, which brand is best? Out of all the years of exploring all of these stores, when it comes to a tool brand, I don't think there is a best brand itself. Each brand has their own specific assortment of tools that outdo the other brands. But when it comes to a battery platform that you should buy into, I would choose the one that is more universal throughout all the stores because so you don't have to go to a specific store to get a battery or a tool. You don't have to drive majorly out of your way. The one brand that actually is in most places more than others is DeWalt. So when it comes to which brand is best to buy into, I would go with DeWalt because DeWalt is almost everywhere. It's a powerful brand. And you can go to a, a lot of tool stores, Flames Farm and Fleet, Home Depot, Lowe's, and a bunch of other random stores except Menards, which is the best brand. I would say DeWalt because you can get these anywhere. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys love this style of video because this is actually gonna be my normal video from now on. I am tired of doing all the tool tests that I did, just a whole video on a couple of tools. I want my main videos every week to answer comments and it's gonna be a bunch of random stuff. It's not gonna be designated tools anymore. There's gonna be vacuum saws, impact drivers, hammer drills. Everything's gonna be in one video. So it's gonna be based on comments. So please leave a request in the comments below in any video. I am gonna be pulling comments left and right because comments is the videos for now on so that's pretty much you guys hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time